At least 100 people rallied in downtown Ottawa Tuesday as part of the Foreign Service Officers Union's ongoing labour and job dispute with the federal government. Canada's striking diplomats want equal pay for equal work. After eight years of seeing these wage inequities kicked down the road by our employer, enough is enough. The union argues foreign service officers make three to fourteen thousand dollars less than government officials doing the same work. But the government doesn't agree. They say diplomats are well paid and get benefits public servants don't. In a statement, the Treasury Board said, the Foreign Service, which is already well paid and a highly sought after posting, is asking for a hefty wage hike that is neither fair nor reasonable for taxpayers. The nearly six month long strike has taken a toll at home and abroad. System wide visa issuance has decreased by 25%, up 65% in some of the busiest centres. And the tourism industry will likely lose more than a quarter of a million dollars by the end of the summer. It's, it's affecting the Canadian economy. I think it's, it's time enough that they put this situation to rest and bargain fairly. The two sides have been involved in contract negotiations for the last two years. And Edwards is adamant the government's offer has never changed. Uh, we believe uh, at this point now uh, that the government clearly never had any intention of bargaining in good faith with us, never had any intention of compromising or making every reasonable effort to reach a solution. We have. We offered binding arbitration. Tuesday's strike comes just one day before the group's hearing at the Public Service Labor Relations Board. We believe we have a rock-solid case. Uh, and even if the arbitrator finds that the government has been negotiating in good faith, well, that's fine. We're ready to receive their revised offer at the table any time. The union hopes the arbitrator forces the two sides to enter binding arbitration. Annie Bergeron-Oliver, iPolitics.